I hear good you uh, you're a fan of football. Yeah, um, <laughs> I'm like I got in cool you I got in Roma new. Yes, most Man. definitely. Malona da go viral. Uh, we don't mind. Yeah, Mukunka Gamira. The guy is no, 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 Gamira. Hey, just say the guy is trying his best to leave. Yeah, of course he is. Come on, Mukunka Gamira, good job. Yeah, it's on a business perspective. Ronaldo is a brand. It was a huge brand. Yeah. So marketing yeah. wise, we need him. And Barcelona is, is even trying to get Messi back because I think their sales are not good. Yeah. Just fancy when uh, Ronaldo's uh, leaving Real Madrid. Yeah. Syria was not on DSTV. Mm. They brought it back because we need to be watching Ronaldo. Yeah. Come on. Come on. So it's, it's not about football anymore. It's just the Market. business around it. Market. Uh, uh, cool. So here in Malawi, yeah. which team? The central bankers, silver strikers. <laughs> <laughs> Proudly. Proudly. <laughs> yeah, man. Ah, uh, yeah. uh, You know, politics. Politics yeah. in football is crazy. Yeah, yeah man. Yeah, man. But anyway, man. Uh, let's talk about the music. I mm-hmm. know you, you. You're the music guy. Yeah. Uh, so many perspectives that people have about you. Yeah, 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 uh, yeah. but welcome to Poker yeah. Super. Yeah, so man. welcome Thank to you. Poker Super. This is an amazing, excellent, special edition. Yeah, man. With uh, Malinga. <laughs> The gun boss. What else? <laughs> what are the names? Akaida Jenna. Akaida Jenna Jenna. <laughs> How many, how many <laughs> names do you have? How many? So many of them. But we're gonna go to the names, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But mm. yeah, my first um, impression of you, right, is I've seen what you've done. Mm-hmm. I've been to your shows. Mm-hmm. I've um, experienced your art, right? Yeah. You are a person who has a space in the in, in the sector. Kuti ya tamaza odoke, wabanga banga, kena kukuli uyu. Meaning, kuti, your name is there. Yeah, man, yeah, man. Say, yeah. don't you feel the pressure for that? Mm. I, I, every time I have to impress. Yeah, back then I used to, but nah, not anymore. Not anymore? Yeah. Mm. Because what I understand uh, music at first. Yeah. You give people what they want. Yeah. Once you're up there. Yeah. You give them what you want them to listen to. Ah, so it's Makari a shift. Of yeah, power, yeah. So the first stage, even oh, so you can do your stuff. Yeah, cool. Because yeah, I've heard people were like, "Ah, mm. uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. and the vibe is not like mm. we're not getting that strange. Uh, Malinga, the fire fire guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you, you you heard about that, right? Yeah, most definitely. Yeah. Mm. How, how do you feel when people are talking about your music? Like something that you you were crafted, Bobo, you had mm-hmm. your slay gay mm-hmm. there, guy mm-hmm. there rather uh, working on it. Yeah, man, they yeah, were man. Go, ah, <clears throat> how does it feel? <laughs> okay. Um, from a dancer artist's angle. Yeah. Right? Because career-wise, yeah. I've released over 178 yeah. songs. Right? 178 songs? Yes. If you meet somebody saying he's a big fan of okay. yeah. Yeah. I need to die over 170 songs. No, I need to ask because mm. my, my, my videographer, Kelly, mm. says mm. he's a fan. I've yeah. had so many artists here, but he yeah. says, Goody, this guy who's coming, I'm yeah. a fan. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So, <laughs> <laughs> for the first time. So, the question is, do you mm. have how many mm. folders? <laughs> yeah. So, for a fan, you need to have how many, like, Mundo Probably, big, yeah. fan, big fan, big fan. Hundred and over hundred and fifty minimum. Yeah, minimum. Because uh, I'm saying this because I'm heading towards uh, yeah. the question. You say, "Good, how do I feel?" Right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, first of all, you need to understand good the dance music. Yeah. Uh, has a history or a yeah. background of freestyles. Mm, yeah. So one thing I can guarantee you. Yeah. Out of those hundred and fifty songs. Yeah. Almost eighty, if not ninety percent. Yeah. They are freestyle based. Ah. That means I go to the studio, yeah. I find a beat. In two hours' time, I'm done. I go home. What? Yeah. I don't sit down to write and what? compose. That's why even off the record when I was telling you, I don't play any instrument. Uh, Meaning to uh, say, uh, I don't compose with an instrument. Mm. You give me a beat. Mm. And even most of the songs when I'm composing, so yeah. I'm a Kauri, he has a certain tune in his mind. And yeah. he's like, I say, Nindi beat in again? Yeah. He just gives me a topic. Then mm. I just go on the beat like, okay. So, you know, dance all... 
Come I say, that's style. crazy. So, I say that's mad. I'll tell you, say, like ninety percent of ninety percent of the songs freestyles. You just go in the studio, get a beat. Ask anyone. I mean, I'm going to feature on a collab. Yeah. If you're saying, I say, I want you on a project. Yeah. Mom, so don't send me the beat. Just tell me when you're going to the studio. I'll come there. I'll compose from there. I'll write. Can do even funny. Cause I we dance with my we, we build it from feel. Mm, the vibe that yeah. is there. So you can send me a beat. Would I say I want you on this project? I will never listen to it. I will just say, just tell me good session. I bugged it. I will come to studio. Dimve mus my big speakers much. It will put me in the zone. Mm. Then rhymes that you know. Wow. So most of my songs. So that's why uh, if somebody criticizes my music, yeah. I don't. Well, I said, okay, I mean, I composed it in an hour, so I made another one. <laughs> ah, <laughs> that's know. crazy. Isn't it? So that, that is why I have Nimbo Zambili, because in yeah. a week I can record, because as it stands right now, mm. uh, let's say if I die today, Slay mm. has over 40 songs unreleased. What? In studio. What? Because when I'm in the zone, hey. Makoti, we can record uh, like five songs in a week. What? And that's what dance is all about. Where you record something is like instrument, read. Really. Yeah. I said, in read you know. Eh. We know something. I said, read you know. I can record all, all seven songs in one week. Aye. They will just differ. Would we as a producer read you know? I don't it. I don't it. That is why my dance artists yeah. have nimbo zambidi. That's crazy. I see. Because of existence, I'm reading. That's crazy. And dance on freestyle. That is why I'm challenging you. Uh, you never meet. Uh, a dance artist who mm. goes easy on freestyles mm. because that's how mm. we, we I think yeah you have to be come on my first time on Banata okay like okay let me give you an example yeah. uh, if you're gonna listen to me on Monday uh mm. Monday we are mm. he's gonna have a, a guest there yeah, yeah. that guest I'm also like, a freestyle mm-hmm. I'm telling you I'm being bayagal in that exactly <laughs> now that is why yeah everywhere I go yeah. if somebody asks me what I say I want you to give us a freestyle. Yeah. Sort of what do you want me to freestyle about? Which we'll do later on. Yeah. yeah but yeah. Give me a topic. Yeah. Because at the end of the day, it's a freestyle. It's, it's not a freestyle. A freestyle it, if I'm giving you a verse. Come I'm on. Like, I'm like, ah, what is happening? Mm. I'm like, because mm. the space is crazy right now. My guy is amping in beat. I say, like, uh, ah, freestyle. Mm. And yeah. they keep on repeating it or changing it somehow. Yeah. And even to add up to that, you know, mm. growing up, as a young artist from area 18, I was yeah. close to Mafineta. Oh. So what Mafunyeda used to do to us as kids, yeah. among them, I'm pang, boy, I say, why you not jeans now, brother? Eh, mm. and nobody say fresh out of bars about this jeans. What? So you're like, ah, you know, yeah, you know. So we grew up like that. And mm. believe you me, yeah. Ask anyone from area 18, yeah. Freestyles, they're like, you know, things that's the culture. With, yes, the culture but of the hood, right? When you look at, for example, uh, industry out here, generation out here, yeah, whether they like it or not. Mm. In every journal, yeah. there has to be a kid from Area 18. Mm. And Area 18 has produced uh, the most, has contributed the most as far as urban music is concerned. I thought 25 years. No, Area 18. Let's talk about producers. Where do you record? They started from Area 18. Oh. DJ Slay is from Area 18. And I neighbor TK. BFB <laughs> is from Area 18. Oh. We're talking of My K Studios. Area 18. In a Snowden, the guy who produced BD and Dima. Yeah, 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 yeah. From Area 18. Now let's talk of my artists. Area 18 gave you Gwamba. Uh, Area 18 gave you Malinga Mafia. Uh-huh. Area 18 gave you Mafunyeta. Uh-huh. Area 18 gave you Anima Tumbi. So you see, it's a trend. You the, mm. the circle. Okay. But yeah. I say, Area 18 is, this is some, it's a place with, now it's just full of bars, right? Yeah. Because, uh, you know, because uh, one, one thing I would say, yeah. uh, I believe music in the exposure. Yeah. If you if we compare the guys, my mm. go twenty five and my mm. eighteen, you are mm. sure go to eighteen you can stand out. Yeah, most definitely. Crazy, huh? Because if you tell me of an artist, you were uh, regionally or say, yeah, at some point in time they need to come to area eighteen. They need to, to to get the culture. Yeah, it's either to record or to do a collab with some kids, uh, some guys from area eighteen. <laughs> so it is the center. Yeah, yeah, cool. I say I hear you. Let's yeah. talk about where it this mm. whole thing started. Because mm. uh, I knew a while ago, um yeah, everyone was young at that time. So yeah, it's not like would he, he, you were young, come on, everyone was young. Uh, but uh, I knew you a while ago, um yeah. doing the music. Mm. Uh take me through the journey of uh of you starting out, yeah. the life of the Mafonieta times and stuff. Mm-hmm. What was happening at that time? Okay. Uh first of all, yeah, uh, I come from a musical family. Oh. Yeah, man. Most people don't know that. Okay. Do you remember 
Mkazo wa Malonda huyo hata mm. kufuna zake huyo yes, those are my guys. elder brothers. Yes. <laughs> yeah man. <laughs> yeah man. <laughs> the we, we, the so, Savage crew. Eh yeah, Savage from University of Malawi Polytechnic. Yeah. yeah man those are my brothers. Crazy. Mm. You remember uh, young degree. Mm. I'm bringing the gamba. You were gamba. I talk, I talk, I talk, I talk. Yes. Yeah. yes. The guy who was doing the chorus. That's the one who is my manager right now. Ah. That's my big brother, Young Degree. Young Degree is your brother. Yeah. Young I met degree. him. I met him. Mm. Okay, cool. Yeah. Young Degree is my blood brother. Oh, it's a crazy <laughs> work. Yeah, man. Okay. So, uh coming growing up from, you know, from mm. a family like that. Mm. Since primary school, I mm. used to come home from school. Yeah. Finding my brother to a sitroom doing freestyles and all. Yeah. Mabanga record it jenga banga. Eh. On my tape. Eh, mabanga rock back to be. Cuz I banga record it. Toys weird but you know cuz we isn't like. So from that uh time, right? Yeah. Uh, that's when I was exposed to dance or music. Mm. When I was in primary school. I yeah. wasn't recording, I wasn't composing, I was just mm. listening to it. Yeah. So, uh you know every artist, um yeah. record you had my artist said I'm not feeling it. Yeah. Uma banga memorize nyimbo zinyo kuma zimba. It yeah. softens your tongue. Yeah, it does. Yeah. It does. So in I grew up listening to seeing my brothers listen to Ajina Buju Banton. Yeah. You know, in a Bini Man and the likes. So okay. I started, you know, loving those kind of songs. Yeah. And then you know, uh Kim Wedge in year 18. Mm. Wedge records. Mm. Literally Wedge was our next door neighbor. Ah. Yeah. So when Wedge I uh, brought the studio there 18. Yeah. That's uh, that's when I had the uh, the feel of Rocky okay, Studio Makajonchi. This is a keyboard and all. Yeah. So you know as I was a kid, you know, where you jaka majoka hapo, msila keys but then I'm punk. Because of that, so I was you know playing in the studio. Yeah. And then Mafunyeta uh, came. Yeah, yeah. Yet to record. He was recording at Wedge Records. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And Mafunyeta and... I think a lot of things were just wedge wedge. Yeah. yeah. Yes. So Mafunyeta Mafunyeta and I we go way back because uh Apart from music, mm. I also had a, a, another talent. Okay. I was drawing art. You were drawing. Yep. <laughs> so, you, you don't look like a patient guy who can <laughs> Yeah, I, I used to draw. Okay. I used to draw. And actually mm. I remember when I was in standard 6, I won competition in Agea Kiwi. When I competition in Jambula, all schools in Central Region, I was number one. I used oh. to draw. <laughs> so the creativity has always been in has here. Has always been there. So yeah, with mm. Mafunyeta. Yeah, so Mafunyeta my Jambulas. Yeah. So Mafunyeta before music and I to my Jesus Jambula. Mm. So when he started music, I grew up mom wanna, you know, mm. starting from here. I go rise rising up, you know. Yeah. So when I started music, yeah. Definitely I was leaning towards dance or because that's what I grew up listening to. Yeah. My brothers Yeah. Ajina degree aja yeah. and then ajina mafunyeta. Right? Mm. So in 2008, yeah. That's when I recorded my first single. 2008. 2008. Okay. Yeah, that's when I recorded my first single. All right. Nalo uh, military radium from Jamaica. Uh. They jumped to records in I. So uh. started 2008. Mm. They would be yeah, at that time I should be I think and from one. Yeah. Yeah. So my whole secondary school i've mm. been recording 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 yeah and believe you me you know i was just recording for fun i, I didn't even know there was nothing good yeah nothing else. Else. there's a career in music that is why namenya from secondary school said you mga figa mpaka university i never made so many collaborations despite good mm. i grew up in a neighborhood where ah, yeah. this is gwamba i can get gwamba on a beat but yeah. i never did because mm. i was just doing it all for fun What 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 mu- what what song did you do around that time that was popular? Uh no. <laughs> no song made it. <laughs> you know because we're talking of an, uh, 2008 we didn't yeah. even have internet. E- it was crazy that time. Yeah. So when we say radio some DJ yes. should play. Yeah. So there was no internet to distribute the music. Yeah. The mango banga record ijodi CD. Yeah, and you have your CD. You have your your scratcher. Yeah, so and you know, lose and that. I had my CDs at Jordi because I had a disc discman. Right? Yeah. So on my, you know, because even in secondary school, when Dava, because I did my secondary school for one day, go to secondary school. Yeah. So I was going to school, you know, did my. So I was recording to my track students and very and my friends at school. Yeah. You know? My visual and the yeah, like. My visual and the likes. So yeah. uh, the whole secondary school, I've been recording, recording, recording. Yeah. Then you know, do go. And go from Nagulemba from 4. Yeah. Uh I'm uh, I got a transfer. 
Mm. I was transferred from Dosa to Dasco. Mm. I came back to Lilonga. Yeah. No apuzi la kunkwichi. Bye bye. Eh, pompa je, yeah. yeah. So that's when I started recording in on the mag guys you know from around from within region. yeah. Then I did form a crew called okay. the Akaida Universe. Yeah. yeah. So the Akaida about that. Yeah. So I formed a crew called the Akaida Universe. Actually the Akaida Universe mm. was never uh, I'm I'm not the founder. Okay? Let's see about that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The Akaida. Mm. Ask anyone from the Secondary School. Yeah. Akaida is a hostel. Ah, and so back in the days, you know, my school art is yeah. yeah. So I, as a form one kid, uh. to dodge my bullying, yeah. The Makawati and Hamandi Bayo was nearly fun on Akaida because Akaida and nearly hosted not your guys all shoe, right? So you had safety, yes. Now, yeah, man. So when I started music, yeah, because as a form one kid, yeah, school art is you can't go on stage to perform, no. So the Agamaka Banga register were. Uh, entertainment director with mm. Makaloti Akaida room comes mm. on stage. So I go on stage and this is my guys from Fozija yeah. and I'm performing because that's the only way I can perform. You know? <laughs> so when I left sound the screen, I was telling these guys, you know this Akaida thing? Yeah. We can make it countrywide. Mm. You know, they never believed in it. Ah, you know, it's a good Yeah. So when I got uh, when I got back to Lilongwe, yeah. started the Akaida again. Yes. I just added universe to the name mm. because they are kaida make it a wonder that kaida I'm a terrorist. When you, when you so I just changed the the, the, like the, I don't wanna, the spelling. I don't want to from the U- kaida the FBI check me yes. but I kaida going to go malawi. So instead of the al kaida I mean I'm using one which is a l q which is a number ak aida aida yeah. Then I added the universe. Universe yeah. Yeah. So started out the crew uh with my friends. I remember there was this uh kid uh Macedonia Mm. And then there was another guy, uh, Marvolo. So we started <laughs> the names. Yeah, we started the, uh, the crew, three guys, you know. Okay. So after we did some recordings, some recordings, and uh, and then I met Blackstar, mm. who was the member of Mabinganya Empire back then. Yeah. Uh, so there was Blackstar, Mafunyed, and Made P under yeah. the Mabinganya Empire. Yeah. So when Blackstar heard my music, he mm. approached me. I say, "You're doing good, Komano." Come join us because if you at least we have structure, but boy, we have a structure and our mm. thing is marketable. Yeah. We also have Mafunyeto on our side. Yes, so I was yes. like, ah, you know, yeah, that's a cool, cool idea. But then I have you're interested in me, but then mm, I have I other guys. Mm. So if you agree to take them in, then mm. I'm in. But mm. if you can't, because I can't bear on these guys, because for them to come on board, it was mm. because of me. Yeah. So we all moved to the Mabinganya Empire side. Mm-hmm. So we recorded a couple of tracks. Yeah. Yeah. Transfer window. <laughs> Transfer my game, eh? <laughs> no, they, eh, eh, Ronaldo from you, very oh, <laughs> new. Yeah, so yeah, we started recording. We dropped a couple hits under mm. the under the brand Mabinganya Empire. Yeah, and then uh, in which to- beats were there? Talking of Vajina, Kakumalot, Kazi Kanti Makafuna, Kobela Zamadivo Tanti Maopa Kandi and Kato. They were, we, we yeah. dropped a lot of tracks, you know. Yeah, and back then there were only two camps. Mm. Controlling dance in Malawi. Mm. Don Dada's Alliance from mm. Blanta, that's Blackafela, Masaveka, and his yes. team. And from the Lilongwe side, uh, that was the Mabinganya Empire. Empire. Mafunyeta, Malinga, Blackstar, Madepi. So the team mm. was, you know, so the hype was, you know. Hey, it was the battle. Yeah, man. Yeah. So then in 2011, yeah. I, I decided to leave the group because I felt like as an, as an individual, mm. I wasn't progressing. As an individual, mm. you were hitting the, you were making the beat. So you felt like you wanted to go commercial. Yes, yeah, I wanted to go let's, commercial. Let's, let's, let's talk the truth. Because at that time, mm. I felt like people were like, ah, Balinga, in the Mabinganya, I wonder if it's because, but he's the one who's going to come out of this place. Yeah, man, yeah, man. Yeah. So the, that was the uh, the idea. Because yeah. at the end of the day, uh, um, um, I had so many limitations. Yeah. The crew to name one Hambiri, yeah. meaning to say, if you're working on a track, you only have like four eight bars to do so everyone and, has to be there and then we are talking of well, this was way before internet mm. meaning to say for people to recognize Agulava in Malinga it wasn't mm. that easy because mm. everybody know uh, knew Mafunyeda's voice yes right? in Amade, I think they had made their name yeah they time. had made their names mm. so it was like people when they hear Mabilinga in the Empire they yeah. know Black Star Madepi yeah uh, let's say uh, Mafunyeda yeah Zodi Guli Mafane Nagi Foro so that's when I decided to move out. Yeah. So I left uh, the crew. 
Mm. So I told my guys, Aja, everything was cool. You know, I know you can do your thing. Yeah. Yeah. So I left. My guys, the guys I came in with, they mm. said, I don't know, we stay here. So I was yeah. like, cool, it's your. You know? Yeah. Then uh, that time I was, uh, I think that was in 2010, 2011. Yeah. Ligulemba, MSCE. Mm. So my parents are like, you know, this music thing, focus on school first because mm. you can do always do this later on. Yeah. So I st- I stayed off the studio for at least a year. Okay. To focus on the exams. So uh, I uh, sat for the exams from four. Then, uh, you know, so these these guys were still were progressing. Yeah. You know, they made my journey, my videos, and they're mm. like, so mm. they were doing okay. Yeah. So in here, I was like, Phew. I just Down. went mute. And then... This other day, um, a wage called me. Ah, yeah. you're punk. It's done. What? I say you had a promising future. What happened? I was like, ah, you know, I was doing the school guy, but when I'm done with the exams, I'll come through. Yeah. So after the exams, you know, you know, wow, yeah, I'm free. Mm. So I started recording again, mm. dropping songs, dropping songs. So I remember a lot of my breakthrough moments. Yeah. Uh, the friend I was telling you, Movolo, the, yeah, yeah. the name we were laughing Ash. about. I'm like, what's that? You know, dancer, dancer is associated with madness. Yeah, it's also yeah. about craziness. Yeah, yeah, man. So Movolo had a session at uh, DJ Slay's studio. Yeah. So I said, ah, you know, I've never been at Slay's studio before. Yeah. So when you're going to record, mm, take now. me with you. And the friend, I'm feel a bit good. Is done yet? Yeah. So I went to Slay with you. So Movolo started recording his track. So and then but never never got that one yeah. So I think he I would prefer to be a voice you know. mm. right? Because you know, Marvel had this husky, yeah, bad man voice. Eh? Mm. So I was like, we should soften it a bit. Yeah. I died because he didn't know me. Yeah. So I was like, you know, yeah, I can give it a try, you know. Yeah. So I just went per mic, Baja. Mm. One take. Mm. So he looked at me like. I said, oh my, I was like, I know, you know, but oh, yeah, 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 you know, you know, yeah. as a kid, eh? yeah. I'm like, oh, yeah, that's good. No one got reward then. Then I called him for a session. Yeah. This other day. So you know, back then, back in the days, the Slay has always been the biggest producer. Yeah, he's been everybody. He's been, yeah, he's been a big name. Our time, everybody wanted to work with Slay. Yeah. So it was understandable. Every time when I was calling him, it was like. The young man done. You know, he never <laughs> served the numbers of my, my youth in the fair. Yeah. So I called him, my boss, my fans, they get you. So he's like, ah, the young man done. You know, I was like, ah, you know, I can find again, I'm ground. Where's the mom living? So I went to studio with around 11. Yeah. But that's a good team. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I went there. Yeah. Now I'm passing the reading I was recording. Yeah. Now I'm, you know, Cora, Sinch and Chan, you know. Big man, I agree with that. I'm gonna have a phone. Cut, cut, cut. Yeah, I'm just. I'm just. Now you got. So I was like, I don't. So I feel like I'm a bit, you know. Now you got the hook. Then I'm gonna have my vest. Then I'm gonna have a phone. Vest. Okay, I'm gonna have a good journey. Yeah. Know? So now you got my vest, and I'm gonna know. I don't show you why. I'm gonna think this is. You know, this is yeah. dope, wait. Right? Yeah. After the, my recordings, I did. So back in the days, I think session that time I'm gonna three thousand mm. uh, to record it. So I had. I only had one point five. So I told him, what our boss? If he's living five, you know. <laughs> Two of us have been five. I'm a mixer. Two of us have been five. Two of us have been five. So I recorded the song. Yeah. And I'm like, what do I feel? Right? Mm. Then I left. Mm. After I left, he called Blackstar. Mm. I said, when I go, I'm fun, I'm going to go, I'm going to go, I'm going to go, I'm going to go. I'm going to dance. 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 I'm going to Apparently, when serving the session, and I'm going to say, I'm going to dance. I'm going to dance. So when he came back to mix the song, you know, yeah. Moaza, right? Yeah. So he was looking for my name. Yeah. So Black Star was like, I don't want to describe it. I can't find it again. Because at that time, right, I was uh, just a kid. Mm. And by the kid, I'm meaning, um, a current, I would say, when I'm younger than how Ellen Juju is. Yeah, yeah. I was just a small kid, literally mm. a small kid. Right? Mm. So I was like, I don't know what I'm saying. I was like, I don't know what I'm saying. Smiling, coming in. Yeah. Then I'm gonna win and sit and talk. I So Blackstar called me. Who is that? My most and Yeah. I say, when I was late, then I and today, that I go for now In so in my mind, but I saw it. Don't like it. So in my mind, so I went there. Now I'm gonna now move the phone. Ah, chief. 
I so, my guys, I'm a winger, I'm a pizza, I'm a man, yeah. Then you know, Slayer and Angot Segula at the session in Jet, and I'm going to play Tragic. Yeah. So, my guys, they were fighting, you know. Yeah. So, Young K was like, hey, I say, hi, Fen, eh? Mm. I say, my fana, my fana, I'll dance, I sound like, no. Mm-hmm. This level was like, my fana, I'm waiting for you, so, is that? If my guy, I'm not going to feed it, then. Ujendani Slay was like, ah, come on, kill and I'm fun. Yeah. I remember even when I met him, I said, Do you remember that day when I went to go? That kid is me. He didn't believe it. Because do you know what he told me that day? Uh-huh. I would have said, Kid, I've, you know, I'm not a fan of dancer. Uh-huh. Come on, I, I like what you're doing. That's, that's Just keep pushing. Yeah, hyphen. Keep pushing one day, you make it. That's what he told me. <laughs> And you know, <laughs> getting that from hyphen, yeah, that was like, Yo, the vibe studio, you got my in today, you know? So after that day, <laughs> yeah, Slay and Andrew Zoda um, Panga, we made a taxi abo. Mm. Keep doing what you're doing, yet. Yeah. Then he saved my number. Hey. Yeah. So I made it into Slay's it contact list. Into contact yeah. list. <laughs> then this other day he calls me. Panga, yeah. Abo ako studio. Mm. Never ako studio which. He gave me three instrumentals mm. and he said, Panga, I've made you these three beats wow. for free. Wow. Yeah. Prove to me what you were in the Okuya. E. And I was like, okay, thanks, boss. And it was a flash. Yeah. I went straight home. Like getting to my, my VCD. My VCD. Yeah. And then the sound system, I mean, in my training and the cover room, right? Yeah. Plugged into my VCD. And it was some instrumental just somewhere around 10. Mm. Now we'll be around 12. What? Nimbos Jandalemba. I know Zampanga Cassidius. I've given you an opportunity. Eh? <laughs> and you're messing it up. Boss, you know. Studio then designed. Studio, we recorded three songs that day. You remember the songs? Yeah. What what were the songs? But like Batman by Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> um Nami I even had a slay feature I even featured slay on one of my songs. What? Missing you. Yarek yeah, me seeing you, baby. The love you gave me now. Yes, I remember that song. Na na bazo na yuko the three songs that day. Hmm. Ndava, ndabwa the next day. Naza bize. Nimbo mene na imba inesh. Hmm. Ba mene na yaga ves swani baj. Eh. Sile wa fufura boy yaga boy yaki. Adas. Aku say mixa nimbo ya na ifila be ura. Thinki nimfa na uyu. Eh. From that moment, Slay asked me. Kuda sempango mashala gut. Yeah. Kuda mashala gut inu kumusi kujanja nja. Then he called Blackstar. Blackstar was like, "Are you? So we are so going to go degree. Degree was Slay's roommate. I look so under school. Ah, but many, I didn't want to tell him that. Oh, Do you know yeah, why? Yeah, yeah. I wanted him to judge me based on merit, not based on good. Okay, fun I go bang a journey. Not good in general, but I know good it. You know. Yeah. So Slay calls my brother. I say, "Fun I go to work studio. I say, fun I go eat sound. Mm. Oh, hey. So degree comes home from work. Bang. I say, I don't know how to bang a record with Slay." Yeah. Then some tracks in the veil. Mm. And I'm veil 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 and I'm veil. Sound there, bro. The next thing, he goes back office, he calls me, you know what? And I'm going to slay. From now onwards, you'll be recording for free. Uh, uh. We are starting a record company. I'll be your manager. DJ Slay is part of the team. That's uh, when uh. we started off Real Friends Entertainment. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. <laughs> that's what happened. Yeah, that's what happened. So from that time, mm. me and Slay, we just clicked like that. Oh so my I was gosh. just going to studio. Kuja. You know, the never holiday. I was just going to studio every day. Hey. And every beat, beat he throws at me. Nyimbo. Oponya. Mango ponya, nyimbo. Mango ponya. Talking of Virginia. Uh, uh, Batman by Facebook. Diamane. Uh, uh, done all those songs. Yeah. Mango done. We're done doing that time. Mm. So, in my country, actually, do, I've been around for a while. Yeah, you I'll been. I'll just give you an example. Friends Before Fame. Me mm. and Slay, we, we recorded that song in 2013. Ah, oh. that song was done in 2013. <laughs> <laughs> now you've been around. Yeah, I've been around. So around. from that time, yeah, hit after hit. 
mm. head after head. So yeah. degree was the one. In in this lay our responsibility was we sit in the studio to create the, make music. the music. Degree we, was degree, the, degree was the guy doing all the you know distribution and, and the likes. connecting people and whatever. And I still remember my very very first show. Mm. My guys and I call uh, I go in RC. Yeah. When I saw shows, I say, oh, we want you to perform when RC. How much do you charge? You know, and I was uh, like, uh, you know, I'll get back to you. You know, first time in a movie, good people make money with my show, right? Yeah? Mm. So I called Slay. I said, I'm going to call you. I charge. Yeah. So, you know, back in the day, so I was like, you know what? Touch a J15 V. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, hey, I I <laughs> and then I called degree. Degree is like, ah, you know, 15 to pay someone B. Hey. That was a thing. Hey. So, hey. hey. so I went there and I went to perform for 25,000 Malay watch. Oh so my God. God. That was my very, very first show. First show, show man. Yeah. And you know, as a kid, you know, my kind my parents and all. Yeah. Visa in the video show, we're not going to be paying for one week. Hey. In the show, no, we don't go to the show. But, uh, but your parents didn't know that you were an artist. And I, I went there. Naga menya when we then how did we go and go college at first year? Yeah. Because the night we were nasty. That. Yeah. There wasn't my wall. Ndava go in RC. I slept there. And what's a room? Mate. The late mate. Oh. I slept in Mate's room. Wow. So that's when my first time ever meeting Mate. Now when I would show up, we just never go in RC. Oh, but he was a student that side. Yeah, he was a student that side. So after the show, I don't know if some people go and go and go and have no idea. I have rooms. I say. Now go now. Now go now. My hostel go in RC. You know, Mate's room. Uh. So from that time, I think I'm gonna. Yeah, but your parents, your parents were receptive of the of the music. My parents. Yeah, that no. time. No, no, they were. Now, I don't know about the, Yeah, they do. Actually, <laughs> back in the days, music was something forbidden. But nowadays, they, my dad would be like, "No, Malinga, that's my son." <laughs> <laughs> you know, the so, Malinga name given by your mom, your yeah. parents. Yeah. Your name is Malinga? It's a middle name. Yeah. Okay. Actually, it's Chikumbutso Malinga Chitsundi Banda. Ah, so it's not like uh, you, you picking yeah, I've someone. always been, because Malinga is my grandfather's name. Ah, okay. Mm, so I've always been called Malinga since I was a kid. The cool. only thing we added is the mafia. The mafia. It's <laughs> not <laughs> Cool, I say. Yeah, I, I have questions about you and the names and the like, mm. um, which I'm going to come to. It, mm. uh, but I want to to still yeah, man, deal no. with, the, with the slay issue. Mm. Tell me a crazy story that you... Mm. That you remember with Slay. Yeah. The crazy story. Yeah. You've been buddies for a long time. Yeah, buddies for a long time. Yeah. Um crazy uh, story. In 2015. Mm. Mm, in only because 2014-15. Yeah. That was my breakthrough period. Eh? Mm. So we made a buzz as mm. far as dancer is concerned. Yeah. So came the UMP Awards. Mm. I had no idea what my awards are all about. Yeah. But Slay had the idea. Yeah. So Slay was super mad that I wasn't nominated. Ah. You know? So he was furious. You know, he's like, hey. Slay is that kind of person where he would even slap you if you disrespect Malinga. You know, that kind of feeling what he's yeah. into the project. He's into the project. No matter what. Mm. So when I got back to the studio, I could feel, could I say, why? I say, I don't know. So I you know, my guy is a so I was like, okay. and, now, and so I told him, that, you know what? Because then I have no idea what awards are all about. Mm. But I promise you, if the, if that's what you want, mm. we'll I'll get, get it the, next year. Yeah. So I promised Slay, would he, and I promised him, would I will get more than one. I made a promise to him. So wow. it came 2016. Yeah. I was the first artist ever, UMP Awards, to get five nominations. Wow. 20, 2016. And that time the hits were? Levels. Levels. Was that big. Because we dropped levels 2016. Yeah. And it was, it was everywhere. It was everywhere. Yeah. So, you know, uh, what no, as a team. Yeah. You know, because uh, when we sat down, it was a candy strategy. Mm. So, our strategy was everybody right now is doing is doing love songs and all. Mm. But if fail, I came in the industry as a bad man. As a so, bad I gave man. people a gangster image. Yeah. It's what people love about my music. So, yeah. I maintained that. Mm. So, it was in a period where by. People were doing so many songs, mm. love songs, and cause this and cause this, and yeah. I come like beef, you know, respond, and it was everywhere. Yeah. So people, I think people loved it because of I was just being true to what mm, 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 I'm mm. very good. I think at. you were the ghetto. You, you represented the ghetto in a way because exactly. the ghetto was the beef. That time, beef was everything. Exactly. Cool. So you promised Malinga. Uh, you I promised. Say, say, I rather. promised. Now, uh, could they get the we'll get the words? And you got them? Yeah, I got them. I was the I think out of the five, I won three. Wow. Yeah. Imagine I won album of the year. Do you know who I was competing with? No. 
Uh, Theo Thompson after filling up Robin's bag, the white e- elephant. I won that award. You had bit what, the white elephant. Mm, yeah, I dropped uh, my album that year. Wow. So the white elephant was everywhere, but when yeah. it came to the votes, people voted for Malinga because I had the ghetto behind me. The ghetto was there. Yeah, so I won Dance Artist of the Year. Mm. I was even competing for Artist of the Year. That's mm. the biggest like award because it yeah. was more of all the genres. Yeah. And then Song of the Year, mm. Levels. The competition was Levels and Chipapapa by Tegri and Tufis. Yeah. And then Video of the Year, still Chipapapa and Tufis. Uh, Chipapapa by Tegri and Levels by Levels. So after that wow. moment... I first got uh, a show booking yeah. in South Africa. Oh, you did what? Yeah. So these guys were like, you know, we want you to come to South Africa. So, you know, I was, as a kid, I was super excited. Yeah. And then degree comes like, you know, we charge this and then here are our demands. And yes. Yes. And yes. So these guys were like, ah, no, we wanted to put him on a bus. So degree was like, no, if you're getting him, on, if you want my artist on a bus, then we're not doing out. this deal. We're not doing it. So, you know, I was already in the zone, my first time ever to go outside. Hey, and then my manager someone, says, no, you're not. It's blocking the whole thing. So, you know, I was, you know, I was pretty down because I was mm. like, oh, man, I would have, you know. So, Degree was like, you know what? If they're booking you yeah. and they say they can't afford to put you on the plane, that yeah. means you're not worth it yet. Mm. Let's get back to the studio. Let's do more. Let's do more. So, when they come back again, they mm. have no choice. Have you ever gone outside? I went back to the studio with Slay, mm. dropped some hits. Mm. They call again. Mm. They bought us two tickets, me and Slay. <laughs> <laughs> wow, so, that's a crazy one. So we uh, we had a show in Cape Town. Yeah. So I was booked to perform. Mm. So on my team, they like, okay, you also get him another ticket because mm. you can't travel alone. It said that the manager's good. Yeah. So I went with my producer. So wow. we were all in a plane, first time on the plane to do a oh, show. All together, like first <laughs> all time together. in a plane. Just like the so I was telling me, you remember the kid you believed in while you were still in, in a Imagine school uniform? I'm because really... I recorded my first single with him while I was still in a secondary school uniform. Wow. He believed in the dream. Yeah. So here we are. Cool. We uh we uh Paki Aba. Yeah. Jobek. Connect from Jobek, Cape Town. Cape Town. About men of Ujama, hotel lifestyles and all. And we'll, hey, what is and happening? And the show was sold out. And the show was sold out. What? They been, the guys, after bo- uh, after they agreed, the, man, the money we agreed on, mm. they paid us in full and they even added extra. No, we wow. don't want to be greedy. You made us a lot of money. Wow. After that, all we did with that money, we added some extra studio equipment because we knew we have a lot of hits to produce now. <laughs> <laughs> So we came back. So yeah. it's always been me and Slay. Yeah, I think mm. the relationship with, with Slay is, mm. is is very important in your journey. Yeah, actually, we reached to a point whereby, you know, that kind of vibe whereby he just looks at me and if he, you feel, uh, you know, the connection whereby mm. you just create so many. Because I will tell you this, like I was telling you, dance yeah. is all about freestyles. Yeah. And uh, by saying Slay played a huge role in my career because yeah. Slay could just make a beat from scratch. Mm. And then I like the beat, I vibe on it. Mm. I'll give you an example. Voodoo Cine. Mm. They just, like, just made a beat. I yeah. just liked it. So mm. he was like, you know, say, you know, he can't even explain. Yes. Yeah, 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 I get you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He didn't even say a thing. <laughs> yeah. So we dropped the likes of Voodoo Cine, yeah. Mene Mene, Bagamane, all those songs. Mm. Batman Venda, all those songs. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. So we dropped the likes of Voodoo Cine, Mene Mene, Bagamane, all those songs. All even the way we created levels. Yeah. He came uh, home. Yeah. Uh, while I was still, with, st- still staying with my mom in 18. That was back in 2016. Yeah. He just called me. I said, you home? You know, yeah, 100 10. Okay, I'm But mm-hmm. he calls me. I said, I'm outside. But now we, uh, now we come right to market. Mm-hmm. But so we're chilling. And we talked about football. So many things, you know? Yeah. So it's like I said, I never said, oh, be the new bond fund the bank. So <laughs> I had the levels idea in my head. Mm. So I was like, I said, I was training it on a certain uh, read immunity from Jamaica. Mm. Uh, I forgot the, the name, but I don't know if record vibes. I think CT scan. So yeah. it's a slow tempo beat. Mm. So the chorus I gave me was like, Mana Kingpin, levels to this thing. It was this slow. Yeah. This may not respond. Like mm. that. So he was just recording me like a voice recorder from eh. Samsung. Eh. He goes home. In the tomorrow morning, I go back to school. He calls me by lunch. I say, who do you want to lunch? You actually want to go back. You know? So now you have a nasty DJ. Yeah. That was, I think, in the 2016, 2013. Yeah. Who do you want to lunch? Somewhere around the... 
I'm just waiting for my brother Kinton because Kinton I'm going to central to about Ali. So yeah. we're knocking off from Mazantenga from school going home right? Yeah. But I'm just waiting for Kinton and I'm like, okay I'm coming to pick you up you know that. Don't need the wala zone na pasayani project is well. Yeah. He grabs me from school. We go straight to the studio. He opens the project. He plays the beat. No way. Eh. Hey. Yeah, yes. Gang gang gang. And yeah, say you pity just on the beat. Okay. Tell me nyene huku mami ya zuroi. You know that but who we generally slow the beat is and tango menya. Man again pain. Gang gang gang. Levels in ah shit. This is it. This is it. So imagine yeah. when I recorded that song. Mm. I gave I recorded five verses and I told him usan ka mini kwaze. What? I recorded man my verse kama kama 16 bars. The vibe was there for yes. the song, yeah. We recorded that song in a space of 2 hours. Mm. Sna ngamema this other instrumental. Yeah. In endondo kulemba my verse. Ah, this one was happening. Yes, like I was telling oh with me and Slay we always compose our songs while in studio. Wow. I might com- I might have an idea ya chorus while at home. Mm. But my verse is not going to be in studio wonko. So in a space of 2 hours, yeah. I gave him 5 16 bar verses. Wow. Rego dai no say ipange mute mene ndika bo so ino kama mix au kasa ngami ni wazi. That's a crazy one. You know? So that's yeah. I think the relationship with with uh, with Slee mm. uh is is a major thing in your yeah. in your in career. career. Yes, most definitely. How did Senji came into the place? Okay, now uh because I first met Senji mm. when I was uh, recording the the Pills and Potions song. Yeah. Because I told Slay, I say I have mm. this, you know, this uh, song. Yeah. Mm. So back then, I didn't know what the instrument and the Nick Minaj. Oh yeah, what did you say? The time I found it. Yeah. Now, now, because I always I listen to dance music only. Yeah. So now, when you buy na ge I obtain. Hmm. Ana banga record the no, is it I obtain? There's this artist, Patex. Mm. Yeah, Saban bass with the gear them yes and I got about BD pieces and portions it. Mm. So it was uh, po- uh, uploaded mm. by uh, a certain dance website called Dance Arena. Mm. So you know I'm a fan of Patex. I don't yeah. know this song. Ya yeah, bwendi instrument yo mm. I listen to the song. That the Patex is in pieces and portions. Mm. The pieces and portions. Yana me nyamo zake zake za pa pra the concept was the was there. Yeah. So in Denver ni mboje. I like the beat. Now mm. BD and was. I compose my song mm. from intro to outro. I just need a female artist mm. to do to record my verse that in baja yeah to make the song top yeah so I tell Slay what I say didn't be dinna get come us a say get because the because it was like you're going soft right yeah you say get because yeah. the, the videos it's not even dance right come in I go do as and there is and nyimbo ya patex so na go download the instrument ya go do as I play Slay the beat Slay on boss say you instrument I need me na jina no the patex you know it's like I had no idea yeah So it's like when in so I checked new boy nigga was oh shit that was like but still we can record it on it yeah yeah he was like yeah we can yeah we can do something on it and yeah. he loved the idea because he said this might open you to another audience audience yeah i think because it did because the audience it's it always did. batman this batman that batman yeah. that now uh senji came into the picture because uh uh at uh, uh, that time Senji's manager was some guy named really Promise Matatio okay from me yeah you know Promise yeah. Yeah. yeah so Promise was also William Male with Slay and React Degree ah okay so Promise mm. uh, booked my sessions with Slay for Senji yeah so uh so Slay remembered ah Promise and Andy Bilama the female artist why am I he has a female artist a way I say is your artist here any longer yes ah you know I have an artist Malinga Indian project in age yeah we need a female vocalist yeah. so from you ah malinga yeah 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 i'll, I'll send her over so from me came i dropped her to studio mm. so slave plays the beat yeah i show her the lyrics yeah. she likes the song we record it that's what happened so that's how you guys met yep so let's that, talk about the money man mm. uh how much money do you make um in a year like as in an artist year. yeah mm, that much i can say i can't disclose but i would say enough to Take care of myself and my family. And your family? Yeah. Which family? My yes. Family. Yeah, yes, of course. <laughs> <laughs> yes, of course. Okay. But I'll tell you this. Yeah. Uh as much as it's not too much money. Yeah. But on an average, I would say I'm doing better than uh, most of the artists, artists because mm. I mean, we have to be thankful either way. Yeah. But I'm how much a- how much do you charge for a show? I'm asking this because mm. I feel like and I'm a proponent of making mm. sure that artists yeah. are paid. Yeah, yeah. Uh on this platform we want mm. to mm. say that artists should be paid. Uh how much 
uh, are you comfortable to say, I think this is my rate right now? Uh, that amount I can disclose. <laughs> Come on, I say, ah, oh, yeah. And I'm that, not doing that. I'm not buying that. That amount I can disclose. I, I, spoke, you know I spoke to Young K on mm. the previous episode. Uh, I gave me a number. Uh, Come uh, on, I need numbers. Because the thing is, someone who's watching, sometimes I, I can be afraid, right? Mm-hmm. You say, ah, come on, wow. But if you give me a say, uh, oh, give me a range. You know, I say, you know, okay. uh, if I'm performing solo without a band, mm-hmm. that's you, an artist. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, you're going to use a DJ, for instance, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. I can be within this range. Okay. I'm happy to get that. Okay. So I'll just give you a range. Yeah. Uh, when it comes to CD performances, yeah. we tie it down to how many hours you want me to be on stage. Because uh, I'm an artist who can perform three hours straight. I have a lot of time. <laughs> 170, that's too much. Man. Okay, let's say 40 minutes. Yeah, 40 minutes. Mm. Uh, actually, we do categorize it from 30, 30 to, an to an hour. So from 30 to an hour, mm. a minimum is five, 500. Five hours. Mm. So you're coming with, are you coming with your DJ? Or yes, just with a DJ. Okay, so you're going to pay DJ. your DJ? Yes, I'm going to pay it. Within the 500, right? Within the 500. Perfect. Band? With the band now, minimum is one meal. One meal. We so just take it up. According to the minutes you want us to perform, mm. because uh, booking a band is quite uh, it's a crazy one. Yeah. It's crazy because you, you need also to look at the expenses to, to host the band rehearsals yeah, yeah. week in week out. So yeah, yeah, yeah. So that yeah, minimum I take. Nah. Cool. Uh, yeah. From coming for a collab, uh, in front of Blowy. So mm. I say, hey, I say, jump on this one. I say, mm. uh, how much? Okay, on collab, mm. but the prices differ. Mm. By differences, the uh, <laughs> Because at some point in time, it's not about the money. Yeah. Sometimes so. I need to work with people. Yeah. If I see a potential that the person can make it up. Yeah. And sometimes we just give all the replies as is as a way of saying no. Yeah. Your music is why. I, I can't jump on so this So you one. just give somebody a ridiculous amount so yeah. that you know they don't bother you anymore. Yeah. So on that, it depends as well because when you're doing a collab, we also uh, because I always offer a contract. Mm. So the contract also tackles things like marketing. Do you want us to market it for you? Oh. Because you can pay for a one then I will not post the song for you. Mm. It's up to you. Right? But Crazy. then if you want me to post it, that's another fee as well. Because at the end of the day, if I have 500,000 followers on my social media, yeah. I built that from scratch up. Yeah. How many How many do you have? Uh, I have all social media around up. Uh, no, just Facebook. Facebook, I think I have somewhere around 400k. Well, that's just, it's huge, it's huge, man. Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I say, yeah. For this one, I say, ah, I say, mm. uh, podcast next, yeah. uh, for the yeah, sake sure, of it. <laughs> yeah, sure, Bobo. So cool. I have mm. uh, 400K on uh, uh, Facebook. Yeah. And uh, Instagram, I think 50 something K. And Dude. Twitter. Twitter, I think 12K because Twitter. Hey, 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 Twitter is a crazy market. Yeah, Twitter, hey. Twitter is a crazy market. And mm. I don't use it more because. Uh, that's it, not where my fans are. Yeah, you, your fans are in the ghetto. Yeah. And the ghetto is Facebook. The yeah. ghetto is uh, a bit of Instagram here and there. Yeah. Cool, yeah, man. Sure. So, yeah, so your collab depends. Yeah, it depends. Because yeah. at first, even when you're telling me there is an artist who want us to fish, I say, send me the songs first. And you check him out, yeah. Then I see, I might even tell you, no, I'm not charging you for this one. Oh, okay. Okay, depending when on I the vibe, see, yeah. Because, you know, what I often do is I try as much as possible in my capacity to push mm. Those who needs, who deserves the push. Yeah. Because believe you me, mm. as I was telling you, I started out in 2008. It took me years to make it because nobody else was pushing me. And yeah. I had no social media. Mm. So if I see a raw talent, it's like I'm seeing myself in the mirror. Then I say, you know, this kid doesn't have to go through what I went through. Yeah. I can make you skip all the hardest. Yeah. And that's a good thing, man. Yeah. Because I mean, the streets are crazy. Yeah, man. The streets are crazy. And believe you me, uh, especially my category, the genre hey. dancer. Yeah. The streets are crazy, and you know, dance is associated with madness. madness. So most artists that don't get that recognition they deserve. Mm. So, so it's it's hard, man. It's hard. It's hard. Believe you me, it's hard. Yeah, I've true. seen so many artists mm. struggle. Yeah, and I know what it feels like. And believe you me, most of these artists' music is their everything. Mm. Their financial redemption is music only. And if they can't make it, if they you, haven't made it. Yeah. And I always tell people that. You know, over the social media, there have been debates like somebody's coming from Malinga's crown. You know? yeah, so yeah, I always yeah. say, you know, in Malawi, we are 17 million people and I don't even have or even 4 million people on my social media. That means there are <laughs> over 17 million people who yeah. you can make you, you, your you, new market. You, can get you don't have to come market. to anyone's. Mm. Because at the end of the day, I look at them like, mm. you know, such kind of comparisons. Mm. 
most of the times yeah they might work to the disadvantage of one person who it is does. the upcoming artist it does because, because it kills the person's potential one, to make one it one thing you need to understand about dance music mm. hear it me hear it from me yeah dance music has the most loyal fan base if i say i have 400,000 followers mm. or let's say i have 2 million fans in yeah. malawi yeah. they will never switch aside yeah that's a crazy part about this the whole so space if you make a comparison you're mm. making this two million people to defend their artists you are killing this person who only has less than 100,000 fans i like that perspective man so that is why most of the times if i see an upcoming artist yeah. and people are comparing me with the artist yeah. i try as much as possible mm. the, the decision should be theirs but i try as much as possible mm. to enlighten people that i have no problem with this guy mm. but if you force it out of me yeah. and you make the young artist to push the hatred yeah, yeah. Because I'll tell you over the years I've been compared to so many artists. You've been compared no, 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 to so many artists. This kid there is mm. new on the block. Oof, yeah. Off he goes. Yeah. Comes another. Ah, but this time ah, this kid will. <laughs> off he goes. So you see it's it's something I would say. Yeah. I'm okay with you comparing me to somebody who is yeah up there. Mm. Because at the end of the day beef is entertainment. Yeah, it is. But we can use that to our advantage. The same way degree did his mathematics so to sell a love story yeah. and make money out of it. Yeah. We can use beef as well. Yeah. But then the beef shouldn't be in a situation where by if I diss and my fans be like, okay, who are you talking to again? Mm. You know, it has to be yeah, as I I, mm. I know I say, I know mm. what you're talking about because mm. um even when I was just preparing for this, uh, I I had a group, I have a group for the, for the podcast and I was just asking people what question do you want me to talk to Malenga? Mm. And everyone is like, okay, ah uh, how how does it feel being compared to, to these kids? I'm mm. like, hey, I say People defend you like yeah, nobody's business, I'm mean. I've tell you, seen posts where people would jump on somebody just because they have s- s- said something bad about you. Yeah, actually, I've seen that before. Yeah. For example, I post something on my Facebook. Yeah. And then some guy comes and say, "Ah, suma ta mo mo mo." And you see that you see that comment has 2k replies. And that an amount. Mapuzo card. So you see what I'm talking about? Yeah. So because, it kills the other person. Yes, because dance so you can do that in hip hop maybe. Yeah, yeah. But dance has the most loyal fan base. Mm. Okay, let's, so, let's talk about let's talk about mm, Chismo. Mm. I know there's been a lot about Chismo yeah, this mm. Chismo that mm. uh, I haven't heard you saying anything mm. about it. I mm. want you to talk, to say it yeah. here. Mm. Um I had someone um mm. Sivania mm-hmm. yesterday talking yeah. and was like I think mm. it would do uh Chismo God mm. and the Black Jack even say the same. Yeah. It would do Chismo God if he would collaborate with you. Yeah man, yeah man. Yeah, is there something that is happening uh, that you don't know or that you know? Okay. Um I will tell you this. Yeah. Personally I think I've met Chismo before twice. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh we chilled. It oh. was an okay conversation. Mm. Uh, twice. Yeah. We talked pro I think the first time was uh uh I don't remember who did the first time in a yeah. from uh, we met go go life fest mm. mm. the Chris Martin show yeah we were together there and I also met him uh, at Kosoma when I, was, I went there to collect my my lawyer test yeah. so he was there as well so you know we talked it was a wide conversation I was yeah. it was me Chismo mm. there was you know way G there was mm. DJ Slay mm. so He's a chi- cool guy. He's a cool guy. Know? Yeah. And the music musical wise, yeah. He's very good. Mm. He's very very super talented yeah, and yeah, I yeah. like his music. I'm mm. a fan. Yeah. Mm. So if mm. doing a collab with him from mm. my side I'm okay. Mm. I have no problem with that. And even uh, adding to that. Yeah. Uh it goes way back because I remember even uh, early. Mm. Yeah. I met Eli once. Mm. The first time meeting Eli. Mm. He came to my house. Yeah. Uh, he was recording because at my house I had a studio. Yeah. So I had this kid Uchi. I mm. have this kid Uchi, the one who produced La Vida Loca. Mm. He's DJ Slay's little brother. He's a producer. Ah. So they contacted Uchi for a session. Yeah. So Eli came to my house because mm. Uchi was staying with me but mm. in New York night. Yeah. So I found them in the So I was ah, what's up boys? Hey, you know, tonight chill out my game with mm. Janet. Mm. So he He list, he made me listen to his music and I was like say this is dope man. Yeah. yeah. And we also went to a certain show together. I think it could never could never happen. And even after the show on my way back, I mm. drove him home. Now I'm saying go for night. Yeah. Yeah, I dropped him I was like I said we'll link up tomorrow. Was sure you're not going to jam at 2 a.m. Yeah. So when driving back I was it was me Elion the Dontas. Yeah. You know we kept 
talking about dance or the yeah. whole, you know? So I would tell you this, the vibe is okay. It's just social media stuff. Social media will always create the enemies yep. and will always create with Virani. Yeah. So now I'll tell you this. Yeah. Uh, from my understanding, yeah. as far as my comparisons are me are concerned, yeah. there is a certain group of people that started out with maybe Bifia Wundu, right? Yeah. The artist disappointed them. They mm. jumped to another one. Ah, maybe this one, you know? <laughs> so I'm according, like I was telling you, Danso has the most yeah. loyal fan base. Mm. Those who hate me, they will never like me. Mm. They will just find an opponent. I say, mm. I say, 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 I that's what happens. Yeah. Like I was telling you, Danso has the most loyal fan base. You don't cross the line. Mm, it's crazy, All man. All of them and poor. Hey. Those guys, they will never like that song. Mm. They will be like, ah, yeah. mm. uh, That's what, so that's something I know. Already. But I think, I think, and I look forward to that. I yeah, look man. forward to that. I think like the kid mm. Uh, mm. has potential Kwambi. to grow. Um, but mm. I think people mm. uh, are running up mm. into into the conversation of comparison yes, yes, yes when it is not even time for him to have any comparison mm-hmm. yeah, yeah right so my greatest fear is they better not break him yeah in that because yeah. i've seen so many artists being compared to me and they fall mm. and uh, as i'm telling you yeah the, even the so people say open their kind of universe again mm. is to push young artists mm. when i was starting up i started the whole team with Casablanca, yeah. Chaji. Mm. I pushed him. He's okay. He went. Mm. And then I took Governor and mm. K. Stevo. They're okay. They went. I even went to Kasungu. I got another artist, Dicto B. Sixth. Mm. I pushed him, and he went. Now I have a new artist. He's called. Uh, he's called Tini Dikon. Mm. He's a soldier at MDF. Mm. That's the artist I'm pushing right now because the so idea is mm. I have big love for dancer music. <laughs> In fact, mm. Danso yeah. doesn't have a lot of artists um, that are mainstream, right? Yeah. So the the people that you like you who mm. made it to the mainstream, yeah. you are supposed to carry these people. Exactly. Instead of creating the fights, exactly. where it's like ah, cheese more this. Hey, yes, what, what exactly. It? Now the thing with me is I don't comment stuff on social media. Yeah. Come attack me on social media. I won't say anything. I just uh, leave you to something. Mokazi. Yeah. I don't <laughs> do stuff. <laughs> So at the end of the day, <laughs> yeah, because I can, you know, it's very, you know, people have my levels of understanding, yeah, yeah, and yeah. I can't be justifying myself to everyone, yeah. So as the man was this, at the end of the day, you know, I feel like mm. I would love so much. Mm. Let's say if we are, you know, fifteen dance artists into the mainstream, yeah, that's what I would love. because the mainstream is all. If they are looking for someone mainstream mm. who can bring people numbers, mm. right? Yes, could I go boss It's always you, yes. and that's bad. Yes. So at the end of the day, because you know, so the other uh, thing that made me venture into the mainstream one bit is, yeah. uh, you know, when I was a, an upcoming artist, yeah, my guy and I came in a dancer. Yeah. So you know, the, the dancer was so aggressive. It was so aggressive. The even the market. content, <laughs> even all my ladies, hey, my chick, like, ah, my ah, you know, too much. So what I did, I did soften it up a bit. Yeah, make the my ladies not hear jam very. Yeah, on the same line. Mm. I mean, I'm a funa so, uh, had, uh, so I built my fan base because mm. I'll tell you, Goody, as far as dancer is concerned, yeah, I may have the biggest fan base. Mm. I'm Billy in the from, yeah, right? Because believe in me, dancer, my I'm a real authentic dancer, not whole cheaper. Yeah, that's so some it is, it's aggressive. too heavy, it's too heavy, even the content itself, yeah. right? What people say there, yeah, it's, yeah, too, it's, it's too, too heavy. heavy. You can't contain it's like it's like it's like hard rock, right? Yes, yeah, you you need to listen to the soft one, mm. uh, hard sometimes. Yeah. So at the end of the day, you know, I made a breakthrough because uh, me, Slan, degree found a formula, yeah, to, to get so into at the it. end of the day, you Every person who listens to hip hop only, yeah. if you ask them about dance or murumu mzenda dzinari mods, yeah. Everybody who listens to R and B, if you ask yeah. myself, about dance, ah, dance or mala, I know there is maringa yeah. because maybe there is maybe one or two songs yeah. that, that they liked. Cool, I say. Mm. Crazy idea, I say. Uh, mm. I know we've we've taken some, so we will try. I'll try just to ask a quick, quick, quick questions, yeah, and let's see if we can we can hit mm. them. Yeah, um, yeah. Who's your favorite artist right now? Who are you vibing with now? Uh, in the in the market, Malawi or Malawi, Malawi. Yeah. Hmm. That's a very difficult question. Yeah. 
<laughs> because at the end of the day, yeah. I'm, I'm seeing every artist right now looking at me because they are all my friends there. Like, choose me, man. Choose me, man. You know? <laughs> I yeah. would just say it's very difficult very because difficult. at the end of the day, mm. you know, people might interpret it because mm. you know the way social media interprets stuff. Yeah, yeah. So there might be my artists saying, "I got maybe I might choose them," and they are the comparison there and there, and they might use me in the campaign of endorsement. Do you see? <laughs> <laughs> <You're not laughs> <a bad guy. laughs> so currently, I wouldn't. I would say my favorite artist is me. Uh, okay. Even though there are so many of them, yeah. because I can't mention. All right, cool. Yeah. I hear you. I hear mm. you. Um, what's your best lines? So far, just give me one. The line you my feel about any line you sana in the come as far as I know. Like you go by. Yeah. Done. Yeah. Eh, man, nega malai na mbili. Eh, eh, eh. Actually, I want to say jamu jifoda jamu hundred seventy. Shega, shega, shega. What you pay that to me? Line you di di oki agambi ko maga. Nasa wizi wa so eh. Hmm. Hmm, I sent it over. Don't worry. Diga, let me see. Hmm. Okay, this I'll just say maybe the the most recent song. Yeah. Uh, okay. Marian, yeah, the Pamalo. Yeah. Pamalo, Pamaje, but that song. Yeah. Hmm. So. Ah, did you want epic? Did you remember? Did you want ink? Zandiremba. Aye. No, it's a line. Yeah, it's a cool one. No, my ink. Zandiremba. Zandiremba. Well, you were talking about the uh, intoxication mm, that alcohol, yeah, alcohol, alcohol stuff. So, yeah. 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 You have so many things. Yeah. So many okay, I'll leave it there. I'll leave it there. So, okay. So, uh, most of our fans um, who are in the group, uh, mm. the WhatsApp group, the the way just pushing questions. So I want to make sure that um, they are covered. So I'm going to yeah. ask you and we'll try to cover them as quickly as possible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Um, let's start with this one. So, does he have any plan to extend his music career uh, the way Sonia did by going to SA? Because Malinga is too big for Malala only. Wow. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wow. Yeah, I have plans. Mm-hmm. And I'll, I'll tell you, that's the reason why I've been silent mm. for the past two years. Mm. Because when uh, I'll be honest with you, yeah, twenty 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 one, yeah, I felt like everything I I wanted to achieve here in my life, mm. I've done it. Mm. Yeah. So it was my plan to take the music outside because yeah. at the end of the day, I can keep doing the very same things over and over. Yeah, right? so I do have a lot of plans to okay. push the music outside, and I have lined up some collaborations yeah my international collabs yeah and even my singles already, yeah they're, I feel like they're, they're specific too, for a market in yeah they're too watch. good to it would be a waste to mm. drop them let's say okay i'm dropping this bus it's in of a zodiac or yeah, something yeah, yeah. Yeah. so currently the only thing that's standing in between me and putting that music outside yeah. is my financials ah okay yeah so currently mm. you know the problem with malawi is mm. uh people who have money mm. they don't believe in the music that much yeah, until you make it when they see that there's a yes. there's something that is so, happening. As an artist who is also a businessman, mm. um, currently I would say I'm the only person who can sponsor myself. Yeah. So as much as Ngin is Banova, yeah, I'm still striving. But Unless I, if I hear that you're a millionaire, you're working. No, you're good I'm not. Ume yeah. masters win a No, I'm not. Uh, Manu, Pana, okay, we're just you surviving. <laughs> So, so I would tell you this. Yeah, I'm not outside out there because, mm. uh, you know, in music we say, for you to make it, yeah, you need ten percent talent. Ninety percent is what you do with the song after studio, and yes. that's financial. And that's really true. Yeah. It's money. Yeah, because so the plans are there. The plans are there. I'm just trying Wait. to scout some monies okay. to push the dream. Cool, yeah. but you're looking for the money. Yeah, I'm looking for the money. So why can't you do a fundraiser? Like, uh, guys, my name is Malinga. Mm. Uh, I'm, I'm, I want to go out there. My budget is 50 mil. Okay, they watch this. Yeah. Yeah. So let's do shares. Yeah, you can. We can, we can do own shares for the, the Malinga brand. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, come through, man. Yeah, you do an NFT yeah. of a Malinga. Yeah. And yeah, we, you own part of it. Yeah, so uh, one of the reasons the many so yeah. once cool, I get, yeah. I hear you. I think that's mm. covered. Yeah. Uh, it's been long since he released Flawless Hard Mixtape album, mm. whatever. Are there any plans that he will release any, any soon? Mm-hmm. I'm dropping an album. Yeah. Possibly this year. Ah! The album is ready. Okay. Actually, it has been ready since January. What? 
I'm just looking for a, uh, you know, proper timing. I'm, you know that you're feeling way. in your bones. Yeah, okay, ma, ma, I think now. Yes. Because at the end of the day, my life, yeah. there are so many things happening in my life. Right it's crazy, man. We have my demo, we call VD, my business, so at the end of the day, because I'm an artist, or the sound there now mm. goes straight to the mm. people. Yeah. So you, you want them to address a little bit in a space, but it's too many things are happening. Yeah, so right many now. things happening. For example, yeah. people are going through economic hardships right yeah. now, so you can't be talking about parties and bowling. It won't make sense to them. <laughs> just an example. Right? Not yeah. only in my album, but just yeah. an example. Yeah. The attention, attention, and it's, you know. Yes, yeah, divided. And this, uh, as, uh, as far as uh, urban music is concerned, almost every artist who was dropping an album recently he's a friend of mine yeah so we you want to give to, space for people to support each other yeah you cool know? i hear you man mm. uh the other one is um is he still under real friends entertainment i think that has been covered yeah, yeah I'm you're still, still part of it yeah. um the other one is why is he not always in the circles of uh his fellow musicians mm. rather his girlfriends his girlfriend <laughs> <laughs> Imagine that I remember the time I just chilling with a girlfriend. I think there's an extension to that as well. Mm. And uh there's a TikTok videos that he does with his girlfriend. Part of it the promo the brand or just mm. him just love vibes. Okay. Uh, I would say this. I think don't you be in order. Right? Yeah, I'm in order. Uh say we are my friends. Mm. Uh I'm I'm always most of the times I'm with my friends it's just that you people don't know. Yeah. And uh, maybe those pictures never make it to, to the media. social media platforms, you see. Yeah. But generally, I'm, you know, I'm I'm busy, man. Yeah. So sometimes if you don't see me with where, you don't see me where you always see other mm. artists, it's because sometimes I'm quite mostly maybe busy. You work. Mm. Just yeah, I work. You work every day. You are with uh, VP, my deliverables in Bue and all uh, those things, right? Every day I'm with VP. My weekends in my castle of Tamanga school. Yeah. So obviously, madam, to my kind of every day. So that is why maybe I'm going to say, that's a small card in there. But I always have time for my friends because to my kind of chill our studio, yeah. talk with the likes of, you know, my artist, I'm yeah. in the beauty. But you see what pe- how people look at it as like, mm. uh, Balinga and Athea are going to be right now. He's no longer <laughs> the hardcore. Uh, uh, yes, has done a lot of. Uh, uh, okay, now on the eyes is part because yeah. uh, Let's statistically. Talk about her. Mm. Statistically, it mm. as much as good. But the people that are loving you right now because of her. Yes, let me. That's where I was heading yeah. towards it. Statistically, yeah. My social media, ninety mm. percent are men, ten percent are women, because uh, most of them see my music as too aggressive for yeah. the female audience. Mm. But then. The female audience mm. loves, you know, hey, this. Oh, that's cute. Yes. So, as much as Goody, most of the things were not done for that purpose. Yeah. I'm just out there with my girlfriend, you know. Having a good having time. Having a that. good time. Yeah. But then the female fans love that. Yeah. Right. I see. How, so, how it comes on, on TikTok. Yes. And by, by, you remember I told you, I am an entertainer. Yeah. Everything I do, it's entertainment. Mm. So my girlfriend coming into the picture, that's what most women would want to love. see. Because at the end of the day, one thing you need to understand is yeah. stuff like those, you know, we, we do... Like I, I always do my music for the people. Yeah, there are something. There are some people they look at what you do on a social media. They're like, mm. this can be us. You mm-hmm. know? So it's it's all about inspirations and all. Yeah, yeah, man. It's crazy, man. Yeah. Cool. But yeah, shout out to her. She's doing a good job uh, yeah. of making uh, women <laughs> fall in love with you. Man. Because they have. They have. Um, yeah, man, yeah, like, man. hey, your man does work with you. Do this with you. But I'm like, hey, yeah. what is happening? Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. I don't know. She's Entertainment. a strategist. Yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah. 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 Mm. All right, cool. Uh, tell him that we still want Malinga and Senji combination. Okay. Yeah, we can do that. You can do that, right? Yeah, we can. No bad bride between you guys. No, nope. it's just music. You can even chill? Yeah. Cool. Why not? Interesting. Mm. Yeah, because we had rumors. Um, <laughs> uh, as a programmer, why yeah. not having his own website for content and maybe drive the platform for music sales? <clears throat> okay. People know you. People yeah, know man. that you've been doing this uh, yeah, 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 data yeah, yeah, stuff yeah, yeah. for some time. Okay. Now I'll tell you this. Yeah. Uh, it goes back to what I was I was telling you as for example. Right? Yeah. The reason why I have fewer followers on Twitter than Facebook. Yeah. It's where my fans are. Mm. You get it? Yeah. As much as I can market my music on iTunes, yeah. but my fans get the music on iTunes. Yeah, I hear you. Right? Well, listen, it's not like it's... We are blocked by infrastructure mm. in Malawi as a country. Yeah. Right? So, because I'll tell you, it's pointless for me to put my music on Deezer mm. if only five people are going to 
buy it on Deezer. Yeah, but they want you to craft your own website. That's what I'm saying. Yes, yeah, that's why I'm heading towards. Eh? Yeah, crafting a website that's something I can do in a day. Yeah, yet right? mm-hmm. come on, I look at the, when do I need my fans to see my content on, yeah. on my face uh, on my uh, website. Yeah, right? it's uh, it's all about it's about what am I uh, showing them there that they can find it anywhere else I already show. Okay, right? I hear you. Because at the end of the day, mm. believe you me. I have 500,000 followers on social yeah. media. Yeah. I can't migrate those 500 followers into 500,000 viewers on my website. Yeah. It will take time. Yeah. yeah. Because people are used to what they yeah, what they get because of uh, how you already communicate to yes. them. Yes. So it's it's an issue of the night one assess. Mm. And actually just to add up to that, uh, uh me and my colleagues were working on a certain platform mm. which uh, we might come here again to to talk about it. Yeah. We will find a solution to sell music in a mm. process whereby the fans shouldn't get bored. Okay. You know, people Sounds can buy music. Mm. People can buy music, but you mean you banga hinder is the process. Eh, okay, it's crazy. so I click this, I didn't get it, they give me address, you know. Uh, so we're just trying to and this is designed only for the Malawi market. Mm. Because whosoever is in the US can get the music on iTunes already. Yeah. But yeah. then the biggest fan base is here. Yeah. And they are failing to send their money to Malinga because the process is so fast so complicated. complicated to get money money. For starters, I didn't like the idea. You do musicians we are selling music, Madi Narusa Abam, right? Yeah, you send money to account, you send proof of payment, what's happening to Mizran. It's a complicated so setup. That. Yeah. That is why even one of the reasons why my album is being delayed. We are coding mm. a system first. Oh, you want you want to be there so you can make money out of that. Yes, because the system in mm. Ubanga platform, yet, yeah. You can send money, yeah, buy the album, the album get to you without sending any proof of payment to anyone, and that can happen in a space of three seconds. What? That's what we're working on. That sounds crazy. Now looking forward to that. Yeah, well, yeah of course well, I can share. Yeah, you can share it now because the yeah, specifics you because need because until you launch. My issues are patent. Hey, you know, people patent. can just go there. Yeah, yeah. because the, uh, the uh, platforms I'm anywhere using, they've uh, always been there. If yeah, you just yeah. found a way to crack it, could he? Yeah. So I have a team of programmers because mm. I also chair a certain company with my colleague. It's called Pyramid Systems. Okay. We do develop software, so and mm. we have developed so many for so many organizations. And people don't know. I'm going to go to Mongo Kamu, Mongo Mbandi Beef. So uh, when mm. beef comes, you're like. Ah, <laughs> yeah, man. So yeah, so that system is coming through, and believe you me, looking I've, forward to that. I said that, that shown, I've, and I've shown my, um, a couple of artists, the likes of Ina Guamba, Ina yeah. Kake, I've shown Tay Green. They yeah. all liked it. Yeah, and at last, yeah, a Malawi musician can make money straight away. So looking forward mm. to that. Sharp man. Looking forward to that. So I think they mm. get it. Uh, mm. Malinga concert illegally. Concept. They need a full concept. So someone go be the one who headline. Ah, headline. What would you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're not so good as this guy. See Vogue, see Giva, Kabienes. Yeah, I concept it well. It well. Yeah. Uh, actually, even about that, yeah. uh, I'm in talks with some degrees in talks with some investors. Yeah. And we might pull up the winner, the biggest concept ever. Well, looking forward to that. I think yeah, they man. get that. Mm. Um, the other one is uh, Anulang is a good. As I am, I'm a beefy one. Se kumam pagano sa na yank. Mm. You, you you promised? Yeah. In 2016. This guy is a fan, I say. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> in 2016. Yeah. Junior is a fan. Do you know what made me say that? <laughs> yeah. I woke up one morning and I go on malaymuse.com. Yeah. I th- I don't, I, maybe, I don't know if it was malaymuse.com or some page posted. Yeah. There were like 17 songs in Black and Malinga Dis. So I was like, oh, yo, the song I just too many. But you know, <laughs> most definitely, I'll find time for you. Because I think... What kind of time you Yeah, man. Mm. <laughs> so you, you're you still looking for that time? Ah, no, time in Nadu. So, you know, so. there are some things we, we, we might do it. Yeah. Because... Uh, Back then, mm. when I was making that statement, I was somewhere here. Yeah, but now your level so right now is different. The brand is just too big for yeah, you, yeah, yeah. For because you're, you're gonna give them, uh, my mm. God, you give them uh, the limelight. Yeah. Because you just sing about them, and then yeah. Even limelight them. aside, it because Banuba, mm. as I'm telling you, the target is we're taking the music outside. Outside, so it's, you're not so, gonna be fighting. So, for internal. example, I push my music outside, and I have. My fans in UK and Kenya, they'll be like, Malinga, they'll be like, okay, what's happening? <laughs> you know? So, it don't make sense to them. <laughs> it don't make sense. <laughs> so, people in UK will be like, will be like, Chawa what? <laughs> So yeah, man, uh, those were just, you know, silly uh, ideas, yeah. you know, 
I hear you. 2016. But no no this beef. This is 22 man. No yeah. beef with uh with the Malbinga Empire. Ah uh, not anymore. Not anymore, right? Not anymore. You settled the matter. Yeah, man. Cool. You talked mm. to Made? Yeah, Made is my friend. We even he even featured me on one of his songs. They dropped the song I think 2 months ago. Yeah. Yeah, I did yeah. a verse on it. I saw it. Yeah, mm. I was like, okay, man, is it is it real? Yeah, it is. Oh, we dropped the song. Oh, cool. And even uh, on my free time, the, the other thing I do, I, I love football. Mm. So I play socials football. Mm. And even the likes of Aina Dotolo, Tamiara from the Obligo, we play, we, I think three weeks ago, mm. we were playing against each other. We had a game. So, you know, mm. we're all grown-ups, man. We're all grown-ups, man. That was 2014, man. The beef has to go, man. Yeah, man. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Another one quickly, please ask Kukuti, he calls himself Gun Boss. Mm. Uh, does he own a gun? Okay. Or it is just about persona. How does he feel about gun laws considering recently we had a robbery mm. with guns involved? Okay. Hey, uncle. Now, I will say this. Yeah. The term gun boss. Yeah. Well, B O W S. Mm. It was a misunderstanding. Mm. What I said is gun boss. B U W S. Boss or pa. Ah, okay. Burst. Gun okay. boss. Burst, yes. So it was like Mm. Gun boss, not like oh, not, not like gun boss. boss. So people understood it as gun boss. So mm. they gave so gun boss. So you know, gun is not got to be food. Yeah. Boss. So now you know, the challenge of to undo that. Yeah. Hey, say hustle, man. Yeah. Imagine two million people calling you gun boss and those moves are winners. No, 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 it's gun boss. <laughs> <laughs> so now we see how it is. But it was gun boss. Mm. What I meant. Because mm. I only said it in a song. Yeah. I never said you'd call me the gun boss. Mm. I said gun boss. Mm. But what do you feel about guns? Because there's a guy we may walk with Jano Jan. I think that the incident that happened in Likoni, yeah. the guy okay. was from the guy. I'll tell you this. Yeah. One thing you need to understand about dancer yeah. and the term badman. Mm. Right? Badman, it, it's a it's a trend. Yeah. It meant my use as a control measure. Mm. I'll tell you this. I call myself I'm a bad man. Mm. Fana le samina zindwanga follow less says that ah you need to do the bad man ngad malinga. Yes. So one thing you need to understand is the youth mm. you don't tell them what to do. Yeah. So ngaba ngirezo jita. Yeah. So what do you do to control them? Yeah. Yes. Ngad bali zindu 50 zole tsedwa. Yeah. Usabange 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 yazika zivangabe. Mm. You allow them to do one bad thing mm. and control them to third. Mm. They will follow you. Mm. So if you say in the bad man gangster ni mabanga saja kuja kuja mafana aja clad in the anger you know so the bad man come yeah. on bad man sat out of school bad man sami nyankazi bad man sami nyankazi so, so that's you, where it comes you're batman. giving him something yes what that, are you taking that, away that's where comes the bad man rules and laws ah. there are some things you can do as a bad man on the sense crazy huh i'm kind of principles are jordan fan out of 40 he's following you because mm. of one of the gn yeah, ya cool man isn't this our g yet then was that say you went to a bad man yet wonder on the dubanga masters fan out that say in the bad man got maringa and vaku gate van over you see so at the end of the day because i believe you me yet mm. audience fa yeah. people typically in the ghetto what if they mess up their future they have no else to go the dan the dan so how do we get them in line mm. yet And as always I'll give you another example. Yeah. You ever heard that song yeah Clacks? You ever heard that? I will you get a no Clacks daddy. Real yes, bad yes, man no yeah. modeling in shirts mm. that song. Yeah. Look at the Clacks as a shoe. Mm. Sasa so, baroniga bo. Mm. Goma that's what the ghetto gonna afford. Mm. So what do we do? Ghetto is aga bendrama za mas tenuka gula ya force. Ghetto saka bendrama za mas tenuka gula Jordan. So we tell you know the Clacks you can afford is also cool, you know. Clacks can have a Clacks. So for you know Mm. Well, Jordans, I said mo kunya clacks but then check the prices of their clacks in the Jordans. Mm. So it's a control measure. Yeah, I hear you. It's quite an interesting mm. perspective how yeah. to look at it. So I'm called my fan agent. Just fancy Batman's dressing. Mm. People say ah no my fan I'm happy I'm gonna say oh yo gentlen who be the my I mean to go in my yo. I feel like my chain. So Batman I'm gonna get t-shirt again like oh simple. Ka vest, ka clacks, ka trousers up in there. So at the end of the day we're yeah. making the kid live In, within within, within his means, means yeah, yeah. finances because mm. at the end of the day he shouldn't look down on himself for that say mazan zanga do send i feel my journey i feel tungo bango za say in bad man i say this is what we do as bad men yeah. right as a bad man mm. so, you know that song i dropped a song called bad man vendor yeah i'm not a vendor i don't sell stuff ah. on the street 
Mm. But then fana naka kuzota se ndi mapezeka mu ma streets you know. Mm. Mana bad man vendor you know. Mm. Muli mbeni mu ndiksimo because mafana naka ali kuti mbeni ku ndiksa they might look down on themselves so that's it. Hey, 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 this is weenda. If you had my card utamanga kunoko mm. anza ta kupusha munda zima wipi za marents yao yeah. yeah. mafana ujo empower the youth mm. make what is going through mm. make it look cool. You mm. continue doing it because at the end of the day, that's what I've never brilliant. looked at your music like that. As it's on, that, crazy. That's why I'm telling you, Godi, my target audience. Mm. I know the people who listen to my music. Yeah. Right? Cool, man. I like mm. that. I think mm. this is answered. I think the last one is um, ask him if he doesn't feel disrespected. I think we've covered that mm. about issues to do with beef and the like. Uh, there was an issue to do with a collab with uh, Freeman. Freeman, yeah, man, yeah, man. Actually, the next song we are dropping is yeah. that one. Ah, oh, great! I actually, it's a big bad tune. Cool. So you hear it? You hear it from uh, Malinga featuring Freeman because Freeman is a big artist from Zimbabwe. Ah, okay. Mm. So it's coming. Yeah, man, it's coming through. Actually, Slay eh. is done with the mix. Perfect. Yeah, man. So right now we're just working on my the videos and the likes because yeah. uh, now we are talking of it's a big project. We yeah. might not even shoot it here. Yeah. So we are working on the finances and the likes to push that that record. But it's a big song. Believe you me. Yeah, now looking we forward shout, to that. We might shout down the whole summer with that song. Ah, sh- Believe you me. It's a crazy, banner. man. Uh, mm. I'm looking forward to that. I'm looking mm. forward to that. Mm. Okay, last few questions that I have here on the list. I think it's all about Sam. Mm. But this is again for me, man. Mm. Uh, I do this. You have probably watched my podcast. You hear yeah, about yeah, what yeah, I do. Yeah, man, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was watching here. I fell. I'm not going to do No, that guy is crazy. Uh, eh? But yeah, yeah. Um, uh, this, this, I still ask people. Mm. You know, the reason I ask people uh when mm. i clarified it when i was talking to hyphen when mm. i asked you for instance that okay uh who are you vibing with between a and b mm. what i don't want is i'm not trying to create an enmity between mm-hmm. you guys mm-hmm. but i want you to point out mm. things mm. i don't want to say when i'm going to from a different perspective yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, does mm-hmm. that thing make sense mm-hmm. so i ask those ones specifically for that so yeah mm. uh I'm, I'm going to give you comparison. Mm. So you're going to help me okay. uh, to see what, okay, what are the strengths and, okay. and stuff. Mm. So Young K versus Third Eye. Young K versus Third Eye. Yeah. Hmm. Ah. <laughs> 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 I mean, your gym. Your gym, man. Both of them. Yeah. As far as uh, hip hop is concerned. Yeah. Lyrics, really good content. Yeah. They are dope. Mm. Yes? Yeah. I think uh, the only strength. Mm. Young K has over third eye. Mm. The he can easily blend bl- blend in local market. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because easily. yeah, for 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 third eye. Yeah. Mm. Because third eye, b- believe me, third eye is flow. Yeah, in the guys, go buy that. I don't say go buy that. Oh, Let's say for example, go buy that. When to find a very flow, eh? Yes, yes. Put that music out. Mm. Right? Mm. That very good buzz on buzz. Or he, he yeah. can he can battle with those kind of artists. Come with a Jay Z you said it. Yeah. For the investor, say that flow. Guys are going. Teda is dope. Mm. Right. Mm. But then uh, blending in into the common market. Yeah. Right. Because uh, believe me, like issue in Magozanga they are dancers. Yeah. Yeah. What fills up a hole? Mm. See buzz on buzz in the flow. But many content that many people can relate to. Yeah. So I think looking at my songs like Ajina Nanka Bangwa you don't have to be a hip hop fan mm. for you to, to know get what it is that that song, right? Mm. But you need to be a hip hop fan for you to know Lazaro, Zuka, Osa mm. Gona, which and is that, a good song. Yes. But yeah, you need to be you need Ajina to be deep, yeah, deep, deep is a top song much for rappers. Yeah. People who uh, listen to rap. Yeah. Right? But many things, songs like Ananka Bango, mm. even you can find, even you, know, you can, I can, chances are I can go home and find my mom singing Ananka Bango while she's <laughs> doing her shows, you know? Yeah, so I get the, it. The I difference get it. is, it, it's because of the market, the yeah. market yeah. yeah, cool. Mm. Uh, Gwamba versus Fredo Kiss. Gwamba versus Fredo Kiss. Yeah. All of them, they, mm. they do these shows where they, mm. they have uh, my stud, my, my stud, yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. <laughs> in end your vote. <laughs> Come on. I would lean towards uh, okay, but you don't go my strength. Eh? Yeah, you make the strengths, but you lean towards someone mm-hmm. because of those strengths, yeah. Obviously, I would lean to Gwamba because he's my homeboy. You know, you're 18. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're 18. <laughs> yeah, so Come yeah. Gwamba. Mm. I would say his music is quite exceptional mm. because I've seen him dominate rap as a secular artist. 
mm. come to gospel no mm. zamanga so dominate and believe me now was tell people right? as much yeah. as people can say i know gwamba he's somewhere financially yeah. he has always been dope Yeah he has he has if yeah. you go back and listen to his like of course people say that mm. the old gwamba was a ba- this was a cool one because yeah, of the because, lines because okay now ishi makayo do chintu makono munajizolo right yeah just once we naga zangu kuza ndi nsima je mu instead of pigira madzi muzi pigira fanta it would be something weird to you because you got used to pigira madzi yeah you get it yeah. so i'm calling people are trying to uh compare to the old one because uh, that's the one you fell in love with first other than what you have now right? Mm. Because so, at the end of the day, uh, that, uh, that was a big decision to make it. You yeah. know, migrating into category that the manager. Yeah. yeah. So people make how they my murumwa no make gale good. Ah, go 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 ma, you know? Yeah. Mm. So you lean towards uh, Gwamba. Yeah, uh, lean towards. Business. Cool. Mm. Uh, I'm going to give you this one. This one's going to be crazy, but yeah, mm. it's because it's of your space. She's mm. more versus Veda. She's more. <laughs> 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 you have listened to these guys. Yeah, yeah, I have. I have, yeah. I, have, I, have I have. I have. Yeah. Uh, they are all dope, man. Yeah, from because the, from, okay, from it's the... very difficult to mm. pull out my strength and weaknesses because at that moment also they are just pushing for it. Yeah, yeah. So ask me uh, two years from now. Two years from now. They could have been one bit could it was okay with you. Yeah. Yeah. Now cool. Come there all dope. They all dope. Okay. Mm. Uh physics versus Tiger Green. Physics versus Tiger Green. Okay. Um the dif- the main difference could be yeah. Tiger Green has content you can sell on the international market. Mm. Right? Mm. And by content, not good ga ma lines like in that top, mm. the way he works on his projects. Mm. 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 Right? Mm. Mm. He's somebody he can give you he gave us a song with two face. Yeah. Agazabu elaba You know my club bangers and whatever mm. like how heavy ones yeah he started out as a rapper mm yet come upon he just blends in because of his rock menya nyimbo ndi flavor move on but take you know when but the bena boy he can you know that's his yeah. main strength because uh, mm. he's unpredictable yeah and but men with physics you know it's yeah. hardcore yeah, it's hardcore yeah you know yeah my coffee but think about my coffee but they are like i always say they are always dope yeah. they are all dope Yeah, cool. Yeah. I hear you, man. Blaster versus Don't Taz. Let's finish there, man. Blaster versus Don't Taz. Mm-hmm. Okay. Your oh. space. Mm. <laughs> Category art. Okay. Uh, da- uh, mm-hmm. They are all good on yeah. stage. Yeah. They are all great performers. I think the main difference is uh, Blaster yeah. has been around for long mm. and he has more notable hits. Mm, that don't does. Mm. Yeah. You know, uh, don't get me wrong. Yeah. Uh don't does. Most mm. people know him for stage performances. That's a thing. Yeah. So that's the thing. Not so, because of his song. I, yes. I, I've always known him because of mm. what. Yeah. So it be like, uh, do you know don't does? Yeah, you in fact, you know many of show. You get it. Yeah. yeah, but many if I mention the name Blasto, mm. you say oh, I'm all about my business, village na jana na man rebel, you know. So mm. I'm according the difference is Uh, mm. as much as they are all energetic on stage yeah main strength yeah blast oak mm. there are some records that you can point out yeah but many don't does there are yeah. some stage performances you can point you out can point many of your colleague of stars and many yeah. 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 of you can not in the nyimbo you can perform performances i hear you man yeah, man, sure. man uh let's let's have let's have something give mm. me a freestyle Because okay. you are known yeah. because of your freestyles, I say. Okay. You're always giving freestyles to, mm. to your woman, I say, on TikTok. Mm. Yeah, so yeah, why yeah. not us? Yeah, so yeah, focus yeah. with Magnoni. Uh, mm. We are about to get a mm. uh, legendary freestyle. Um, yeah, so yeah. my name is McDonald Nyoni. Okay. So because it's too long, mm. couldn't fit on the branding. Uh-huh. So it is Magnoni. So Mac, uh. the donut is somewhere there. Okay. <laughs> so podcast with Magnoni. Okay. Give me a freestyle, man. That's your camera. Okay. That's cool. my camera. Okay. Yeah. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Freestyle about Mark Nyoni. Yeah. Okay. Malinga Medea dropping a freestyle about podcast with Mark Nyoni. Yeah, podcast with Mark Nyoni. Yeah. Okay. In the Ambano freestyle because cuz I check my Tony. Nyimbo yo cuz I got ring Tony. Tumba manga muliwa my phone. Phone ya ndi my user iPhone. In and in a bad man. Wamo ghetto. Every day we hear the shots they my echo. Fana was killing got Samuel Eto. Dance kuna ndiko ma peto. I hear you man. Yeah man. You have all these lights. What is happening with your head? Mm, okay. Basi we got used to that. 
because that's how we compose our songs. Cool man. We can literally put bars from anywhere. You can put bars from anywhere. From anywhere. I need I need your performance, mm-hmm. right? Um a simple one, right? Mm. Um of you of your best song. Mm. If I ask you best song you'd be like, oh, which yeah, one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because there's so many of them. Mm. So Big yes, one. I think I'll get it from now. Uh mm. my my producer I carry on. Mm. Give me a song where you can do just one verse. Mm. For the promo of this video. <laughs> yeah, yeah, man, yeah, man, yeah, man, yeah, man. <laughs> Run it. <laughs> From way back. Mm-hmm. Yes. Uh, okay, let's talk about dear man because mm. of the situation. Okay. <laughs> okay, dear man. Yeah. It goes like a ex in Masoa, Kwa come simkulowa, Masawa and Gati Muli Kuli Robat Yasoa, my beat in the Kmalo and the Ponyimbo the Kma Blow, Malamolo and Tumba Manga Mokolo and Tumba Magoa Why? Monandi Tawa Matumba Ali empty. See ya ghetto you kagid and the MP. Nali ma pani of no gula bent in the glilila a exi oh samega saden dear mane dear mane. Oli kuti ndafuna tiku mane Ndika lili jona pese kantumba mane Ndina la kweta chane kuti wendi neti dane Dia mane, <laughs> dia mane Oli kuti ndafuna tiku mane Ndika lili jona pese kantumba mane Ndiwe mes tu <laughs> Alright, it goes like Yo, me love clean money from me liko so me grosso Get that pay, mana fit no inu oso Gina wada yo ala Hey, hi everyone Hey, how do you I think he's a man. He's sorted. Kelly mm. is sorted yeah, today. Man, yeah, yeah. Ah, man. But yeah, mm. I wouldn't leave this without talking about Marty, man. Mm, yeah, man. Uh, Marty was, you have done songs with him. Yeah. And Levos was, was one of the, all of it, mm. listening today, just leave, remembering him. Mm-hmm. <sighs> man. Yeah, man. How do you take the whole thing, man? It was a, it's, it's a big blow, man. You know? Yeah. To me as a person and to the whole, to Malawi as a country and the yeah. whole industry, you know? Yeah. A very talented kid like yeah. him because Matze gave us a lot of hits. A lot of hits, man. And you know, I felt bad mm. when it all happened because uh, like four or five days ago, mm. he video called me. Oh. I missed his video call. So I just sent him a text. That I sent him because yeah. I was at work then. And yeah. then I forgot I never called him. E. Of course, I knew good enough did it before. Yeah. I wanted to have a phone number a degree. Eh. So I sent him. So but I say, you know, one thing I learned about what happened yeah. him is we might think we have time, but we don't. Yeah. We need to live, you know, experience every moment like it's our last. Yeah. Yet. We might we think we have time, but we don't. Yeah. We don't have time. Nobody knows what's gonna happen next. So mm. we need to live our life to the fullest. Cool man. Yeah, man. Yeah, sure. man. Life is too short. Um, yeah, exactly. Think, as always, you never know when mm. you're gonna go. Yep. But yeah, uh we ask yeah. this question here about mm. legacy. I know mm. you have done so much from twenty zero eight doing whatever you've been doing up to now, you have mm. You have a legacy. Yeah, man. People give you the throne. Yeah, yeah, yeah. someone is coming for your throne. Yeah, yeah, Whatever. Yeah, yeah. Um, how uh, do you want people to uh, remember your legacy as later on? Okay. Um, I want to remember me as somebody who came into the industry as a young artist. Yeah. When dance wasn't that big. Mm. And uh, I worked so hard. Yeah. Made it big. Mm push it to the international market. Yeah. And I brought a lot of artists with me. Yeah. To the that's outside cool. market. That's want uh, that's what I want people to remember me. It's a good one, man. And that's because, uh, the point of bringing people. Yes, I want to because at the end of the day, you know, I will tell you this. Mm. Uh music makes a lot of money. Yeah. Yeah, it's just that we know we don't end that much because mm. we haven't penetrated the international market. Yeah, yeah. Look at the amount of money we pay to the likes of Diamond. Hey. Busy signal. Hey. That should should be us in Kenya, yeah. in Uganda. Yeah. So that's you know my dream. Yeah. I want uh, Malawi music, especially dance or music. Yeah. We made it mm. Africa wide because as as it stands, mm. I might be the biggest artist in dance here in Malawi, but yeah. I'm, I'm uh, nobody in Africa. Yeah, that's the crazy part about it. And that's where the money is. Mm. That's where the money is. Well, because we don't go Ghana, my change, you know. Change the money. Just fancy, let's say you want to bring Burner Boy here. Eek. How much money is he going to charge you? So just fancy, <laughs> I am Burner Boy. Mm. And you're making that money. And you're yes. making that and you're bringing that kind of traction to the country. And believe you me, that's enough money to uplift the whole neighborhood. Yeah. That's enough money. Yeah, true, man. Because at the end of the day, we always struggle with the, you know, 
I'm a big brand, but mm. then I can't even, you know, support my homeboys and oh, chan, 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 yeah, because they're crazy. The name we got Zina Lidia. Come my man is still in the way. Yeah. The man is a uh, like I was telling you previously off record. Could you yeah. hear Malawi just surviving? Yeah, true. Yeah. And remember this other day I was talking to my big brother at Kingdon. Yeah. He's in the UK. He was like, ah, you know, this music thing, you need to push it out, man. Because at the end of the day, one day when you come here to you do the UK, you realize what the the people who you think they have money, mm. they are just, you know, a fraction yeah. of what what we call money outside. Yeah. But then with the music, yeah. because you know, believe you me, mm. given a given a, a choice, but okay, do mm. you choose to go to the office yeah. to make the same money or you just go to the studio and make the same money? I choose to go to the studio because that's what I love. Yeah. And believe you me, you ain't nimbon. Yeah. Our parents, they worked. Yeah. But we figure retirement mm. just so they can achieve to even buy a house. Mm. Yeah. So how do we break that chain? The chain is crazy. Talent. Yeah. yeah. Talent. Mm. Talent, that's something we can sell. Yeah. Because when you look at just fancy how much money Cristiano Ronaldo makes. A lot of yeah. it. Outside there, talent is more expensive than school. Because mm. of school, you can buy. Yeah. Talent, you can't. You can't, yeah. You can be, uh, my parents are as long as they can afford to pay school fees for you. You yeah. have a degree. But all the time, Elon Musk. Mm. You can play football like Cristiano Ronaldo. Why? Because it's talent. Mm. And so the moment we realize good musician Sijit mm. and break, you've got the system was built in reverse. It was built in reverse yeah. that what talent you think needs help from mm. somebody or didn't work at uh, an academician. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's vice versa. Yeah. You go to the US, every academician wants to earn more money like Christian Ronaldo. Want to want to work for, for some rapper somewhere. Yes. <laughs> yeah. I remember denying the this other day I was with some colleagues from work. Yeah. And Azadu said she, she you know, you fancy car. She, mm. So this guy was I said, who drives that car? So one of my colleagues said, ah, some MP, mm. an minister and something. So I was like, Oh, interesting. Because where I'm coming from, you are supposed to tell me that's a it's a, a basketball player. Yeah. That's a musician. Yeah. But many cool no musician in the Yet the talent you can't buy. Yeah. Or a kawan drama Jordan. Yeah. You can't buy. So unga galowe mu mu jani mu Madrid mu jani umanga minyanga de Benzema chifuru in din drama. No. Or a kawan zambi inbiri. Or a kawan zambi inbiri. Yes. But many yeah. yeah. din drama zako zo. You can bulldoze your way in power. Gabi's a degree. Gabi's a master. You can buy them. Because you can buy them. Yeah, man. Yeah. So the system you generate and generate them. It's crazy, man. That's why I always strive with the at the moment Mm. In this, you know, financial madness, mm. one breakthrough, that's what I need. Because yeah. believe in me, the way I believe in my music, even given, uh, if somebody, for example, yeah. give or take, I'm given 30 million. Mm. I can even put 25, uh, I can even put 25 million into my music because I believe in it that much. Wow. Thank you, man, for coming. I really yeah, appreciate yeah, man, uh, for you stepping here. I've been mm. chasing you for a long time. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know how many people have been saying, bring my linger, bring my yeah, show? Yeah, yeah, I'm being big. I know it's a young show. We're going to grow. Mm. Um, we've been there doing yeah, a couple of stuff, but we yeah, believe man. that we need to document people's stories. Yeah, man, and for me, it's about someone who's somewhere yeah. who knows how passionate you are with your dream mm, mm-hmm. and who can say, I think this guy is yeah. serious. Yeah. I can put my hundred mil in yeah. him yeah, so that we can break the African market. Exactly. And we can take it there and I can get my retains. Yeah, man. That's what we need. Yeah, exactly. So anyways, I know mm. you do a lot. I know mm. you're pushing so many people. Mm. I know people deal with you in terms of, yeah, but I think from the perspective of you being an artist, yeah. what's done stuff, you have done stuff. Yeah, yeah, and when, you, when you're staying at home, yeah. when, when you're in the office, with some guys, yeah, yeah, they, yeah. Should, they should know. You should know to yourself. But I think I've done it. Yeah, man, yeah, I've man. done it. Yeah. You continue doing it. You're going to do it more. Yeah. But you've done it and receive your flowers now. Yeah. So, yeah, 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 yeah. You, you know exactly. what I say. Yeah, thanks, you know man. how to do this thing. Thanks, I've man. been thanks. at your shows. Mm. I've seen the energy that you put on a show. Mm. And no I'm bad in any stop. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. So you you do this and mm. congrats on money for whatever is happening. We're looking mm. forward to the the album whenever you're ready. This place is open now, man. You just want to come here. Mm. We we'll do a live. We can do a live. Just talk to people. Mm. Bobo, good set. Talk to people about whatever is happening. Yeah. Always available to do that, man. Yeah, man, bless up, man. So cool, man. Until next time, this is podcast with Magnoni. Subscribe.
uh, and hit the bell notification so that you get notified whenever we put the content. Mm-hmm. This is all about Balawi, it's all about Africa, it's all about everything that is happening with the black people, black community, and everyone, of course. We mm-hmm. don't discriminate, but it's all about uplifting ourselves because we have heavy stories, mm-hmm. stories from the ghetto and how we rise mm-hmm. uh, to being whoever that we want to be. So mm-hmm. until next time, this is Podcast with Manyani, and this is Malinga. He's a mafia, yeah, I don't know. He's a gun... <laughs> Bows or something like that. Yeah, man, yeah, man, yeah, Until man. next time, yeah, we are out. Boom. Bless up. <laughs>